Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this tutorial, we will create a tiny planet effect in the Fendi photo. First, go to the link with the cityscape image. Click the drop down arrow beside free download, then select the original image size and click free download. Next, click open with the Fendi photo and OK. Now go to a Fendi photo. Unlock the image in the layers panel. After that, go to the document menu and select resize document. For this effect, we want to make sure the width is the same size as the height. Click the lock icon to unlock the dimensions. Next, set the width to 2060 pixels, then click resize. Grab the move tool. Right click on the image and go to transform, then select flip vertical. This will turn the image upside down. Now, go to the Filters menu. Next, go to Distort, Rectangular to Polar. We want to get rid of the vertical line that formed. Next, grab the Healing Brush tool from the Tools panel. Press and hold Ctrl and Alt, then press Alt and click on the right part of the sky to make it the source. After that, take the brush and go down the vertical line to get rid of it. This will get rid of the line and blend it into our image. With the Healing Brush tool still active, press Ctrl and Alt. Then press Alt and click on part of the water on the right side. Take the brush and blend away the vertical line that's in the water. Now, let's get rid of the streaks that formed around the sky. You can keep it if you want, but I want the edges of the image to be blended with the sky too. Take the healing brush. Press Ctrl and Alt. Next, press Alt and select some of the bluish cloud area. We'll do this for the other three areas around the tiny planet too. Once you've done that, go to the link with the man. Go to free download and download the original image size. Then select open with the Fendi photo. Now go back to a Fendi photo. Grab the selection brush tool from the tools panel. Set the mode to add and make sure snap to edges is checked in the context toolbar. Take the brush and select the man. Now, switch to subtract to select the space between the man's legs and his left hand. After that, go to the context toolbar and select refine. Set the output to new layer, then hit apply. Next, copy the man layer and paste him onto the tiny planet. Go to the Transform panel and click the Lock Aspect Ratio. Now, when we resize the man, his proportions will remain the same. Resize the man and place him in the center of the grass area. Now, select the man layer. Press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of it. Or right click on the layer and select Duplicate. In the Layers panel, select the original man layer and name it Shadow. With the Shadow layer selected, press and hold Ctrl. Then select the shadow layer. This will reactivate the selection of the man we created earlier. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color to black. Then go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color. This will fill the pixel layer with black. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect 
or go to the select menu and select deselect. Take the shadow layer and smush it. Then resize it to form the man's shadow. Next, go to the filters menu, blur, Gaussian blur. Set the radius to two pixels. Now, go to the layers panel and lower the opacity of the shadow layer to about 30%. And this is how you create a tiny planet effect in Affinity Photo. Let's take our tiny planet effect and turn it into an album cover. Go to the mock-up link in the description. Download the vinyl mock-up. It'll open up in another window. Then click download. When the mock-up finishes downloading, go to the folder. Right-click on the folder and select Extract All. Then open up the folder with the mockup. Right click on the mockup and select Open with the Fendi Photo. Turn off the layer at the top labeled mockupfree.co. Go back to our tiny planet document. In the layers panel, select all the layers. Press Ctrl plus G to group everything together. Copy the group and paste it onto our mockup. In the Layers panel, drag the group inside of the base group. Now, grab our tiny planet group and drag it inside of the cover group. In the Layers panel, delete the mock-up cover group. Next, go to the BG group for background group. Select the color BG layer to change the fill color of the background. Grab the color picker from the swatches panel and drag it over the grass so that we can get a green color. The color code for the green color that I had gotten was 96C232. Now, let's give this album a name. You can call it whatever you want. Grab the artistic text tool and type your text. I'll call this Bittersweet. After that, choose the font you want the album to have. The font I use is called Next, grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle at the bottom right corner of the album. Set the fill color of the rectangle to white. Then, grab the Rectangle tool again. Draw a rectangle on top of the white rectangle and fill this rectangle with black. Now, make a duplicate of the rectangle and move it slightly to the right. After that, press Ctrl plus J a few times to add more rectangles until they reach the end of the white rectangle. Make some of these rectangles different sizes. Select all of the barcode pieces. Press Ctrl plus G to group them and label it barcode. Finally, let's create a warning label for explicit content. Grab the rectangle tool again. Draw a rectangle in the left bottom corner of the album. Press Ctrl plus J twice to make two duplicates of the rectangle. Place the rectangle over top of each other and set the fill color of the rectangle in the middle to white. Now, grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Place it on the first rectangle. Type the word PARENTAL in all caps and set the color of this text to white. Make a copy of the text and drag it to the black rectangle. Then type EXPLICIT CONTENT in all caps. After that, make one more duplicate of the text. Change the color to black and place the text on the white rectangle. Now, type the word ADVISORY in all caps. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.